Hey, let me give you a quick introduction into the Elastic Stack and how it can help you to make Java applications more observable. You may have heard already about the Elastic Stack and its three solutions on top of that being specializations for certain use cases like enterprise search, observability and security. We still want to take a quick look at the Elastic Stack itself and how it powers those solutions. Elasticsearch sits at the heart of the stack, being a distributed system to store and query all the data you're going to handle. Kibana not only allows you to visualize your data, but also allows you to configure and administrate other parts of the Elastic stack. In order to index data into Elasticsearch, you could just use the HTTP interface of Elasticsearch. Alternatively, you can use something like Elastic Beats, which is a lightweight data shipper that allows you to index data into Elasticsearch from many different services without having to worry about the format of the data as everything is pre-configured. Optionally, you can also use Logstash to retrieve and process data from many different sources and then index it into Elasticsearch. The stack with its functionality is the foundation of the three solutions being enterprise search, observability and security. You also have the full freedom to decide if you want to run the stack on your own hardware, in your own data center, self-managed, as a Kubernetes operator yourself, or just as a service via Elastic Cloud. So let's take a look at Elastic Observability for Java applications, and let's get started with logging first. There are as many logging formats as Java applications out there, having special details like timestamps, as well as exceptions being written in a very specific format. So how do we get from text to something like a structured exception as easy as possible? Instead of writing your own custom JSON, there is a dedicated Java library called ECS Logging Java that supports all the most common Java logging frameworks and writes out all your log statements in a certain format called ECS, the Elastic Common Schema, which makes it super easy for the Elastic Stack to parse your log messages and create dashboards out of it. In the case of Logback, all you need to do is to add a specific ECS encoder to your logging configuration, and that's it. The moment you're writing out JSON, you can configure a file bait to send your JSON logs directly to Elasticsearch. The configuration for this is super short and just a few lines of YAML where you specify the path of your log files which should be sent to Elasticsearch. This approach makes centralizing your logs very easy. You can search across all of your log files without ever having to worry about logging into any system and also watch your logs as they keep flowing in. Now let's talk about APM, Application Performance Monitoring. The ability to watch your Java application from the inside and figure out where your CPU cycles are spent. In order to support this, we need to instantiate an APM agent in our Java application and this data will be sent to an APM server, which then forwards it to Elasticsearch. Before configuring APM for our Java application, let's take a look what you can do with APM. In this example, we have a Spring Boot application up and running, and we now can take a look at the amount of time that is spent in different parts of the application. You can also see information like the request per minute and which Java methods have been called and which of those have the biggest impact. You can drill down on specific methods and figure out their runtime. In this example, the duration is really fast and you can see transactions and spans at the bottom to figure out which part of your application took which time to execute. Finally, you can also take a look at finer parts of your application, like in this example, an Elasticsearch search has been executed compared to the rendering of the final HTML page. We can also drill down into the errors and exceptions that a Java application is throwing and figure out what probably is causing this. And finally, the APM agent also sends information about the JVM itself like the number of threads being used or the amount of memory that's currently in use, as well as information about the garbage collection. 
machine learning integrations as well as alerts are supported as well. There are several possibilities of configuring the APM agent and the way I'm going to show in this example is by using it as a direct dependency. This allows us to explicitly call the instrumentation in our code, but also use custom spans and transactions if needed. You can see here the elastic APM attach, attach method uh, doing the instrumentation before the Spring application is actually started. Alternatively, you can use the Java agent functionality of the JVM or even attach to the running JVM when your service is already started. There are two more ways helping you to gain more visibility into your application. The first one are metrics. Using MetricBeat, you can collect metrics from your systems and services, allowing you not only to get single metric overviews, but also gain a complete infrastructure overview over all of your systems and this figure out which nodes are probably running over capacity or having an outage right now. The second part is the uptime solution by behaving like an external user and monitoring your services from an external point of view, like different data centers all across the world. This will allow you to see if your applications are much slower on certain parts of the world and if latency probably increases that you need to take action or if there's a network outage that cuts your application from one part of the world. That's it for today. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate and join our discussion forum and ask all the questions you got. Also, if you want to join our community to stay up to date uh, with the latest and greatest features of the Elastic Stack, please go ahead and do so as well. There will be a fair share of meetups every month. Thank you for listening.